Working actually out in the field with animals is, is great. Um, it's a completely different field than my normal veterinary job because it's so much more hands-off. Uh, so the opportunities to get hands-on, uh, they're the ones I really, really live for. One of Steve's most hands-on experiences was working with the Orangutan Survival Foundation in Borneo. This was a chance to make a real difference to animals in the wild. This trip to Borneo was the first time I was being taken to an area where pristine habitat was being completely destroyed. To be able to go into a forest and actually help capture a wild orangutan, that was just the most poignant thing that I've ever done. This is an animal that lives at the top of a tree, and we're going to dart it, we're going to anaesthetize it, and it's going to fall out of a tree. The potential for things going wrong are just horrendous, but if we left it there, it was going to die. They were going to cut that forest down, and it was going to be buried under just a mountain of life. Oh, yeah. lovely. Yeah, yeah did did not that. like that. Running around with a net underneath, like some comedy circus act. It was just insane. I just couldn't think that this was the appropriate way of doing it, but there is no other way. He's going back this way, going back this way. Go, go, go. Yeah, back, back up. We absolutely have to be under the tree when the sedative has its full effect. It looks like this is the place. It's a hell of a drop. And quite often under the sedation, they can hang on for ages and ages and ages. And then literally they'll just drop. So um, we've got to be, got to be ready. Here we go, here we go. Come on, come on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh. oh my God. As violent as it looked and as, as crazy as it seemed, this, this way of collecting them, I always, always understood this was the only future it had. This is the only chance it had at survival. Let's have a quick look. It's a male. It was obviously distraught for, for reasons before we turned up, and the fact that its home has been slowly destroyed. He's actually done quite well. The net seemed to do its job. To be that close and to see it so distressed, I think that was the, the thing that really got me. That really did bring home just the nature of this problem. These animals need somewhere to live. Um, and to think that we probably rescue a fraction of what are out there um, needing to be rescued and the rest of them get buried. The rest of them are dead. 